Hi, this is Laura Zarin. You can see more of my work at www.laurazarin.com. Today I'm going to show you part one of how I put together a uh, painting or an illustration. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is this. This is a collage I did on canvas and then painted over it. And I want that to be the background for this piece. So put that in here. I'm going to size it. Figure out which part I like the best. I think I want a little bit. I like this part a lot. So this isn't the color I want. So all I'm going to do is go into U saturation and play around with it. I want more of a blue, a blue sky kind of a look. I think I'm going to go ahead and colorize it. So that's a little flatter color. Ah, saturation is off. Okay, there we go. So somewhere about in here, I think. And then I want it a little lighter. So that's the first layer. The next layer, I'll go ahead and close that out. The next layer is I wanted to add a grid line on top. So what I did was I took this file and I did this with a brush and ink, scanned it in. I worked with the levels a little bit to get the texture of the paper to disappear, the black to be a little darker erase some of the mess ups that I made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy over onto this file and I'm going to use the selection magic wand tool. I'm going to save that selection in case I want to do this again. I'll call that grid lines just in case I need to fix something. So I'm going to get rid of that, add a new layer which I'll call grid and then I'm going to fill that. And I kind of want it a little bit of a warmer green. And I'll just pick one and then I can adjust it from there. That's a little too much. So I'm going to go into use saturation because I want it lighter and a little less green, I think. A little less green. Okay. Then I'm still thinking, I'll get rid of the grid lines there real quick. Still thinking that I want that to be lighter. Or not not as prominent. Okay, so I got to make sure I get rid of those lines. Okay, I am going to scale this because I want it to be bigger than that. I think a little bit bigger. Okay, so there is that with and without. We get rid of that one. Okay, so one more thing I want to do to set up for painting is I'm going to use, this is how I get most of the textures. You know, sometimes I just use this collage as a layer of texture. This time is actually part of the art. So I'm going to take, this is a watercolor I did uh, by hand, obviously, scanned it in. Then I'm going to pull it over onto here and I'm going to resize it because it's still pretty big. So it gets a little less toothy. Okay, Tracy Bishop also explained this in another one of her tu tutorials. So what I'm going to do is go to Other, High Pass Filter, then you get a gray line and you can play with how that looks. I usually just leave it exactly the way it was. Okay, and then I make that layer that it's on an overlay. So now when I come in here, you can see that layer, but you're not seeing any of that color. And usually I back it off from 100%. It's usually not like that. And that's how I do the first part. Stay tuned for part two.